welcome again if you're okay cool anyway ignoring what i just said i'm too lazy to restart this recording so we're just gonna deal with this hey come draw with me welcome how did i introduce i forgot how i introduced myself i have done this i have recorded at least four videos and i've forgotten how to introduce myself okay hi my name is sasha feel free to come draw with me we are doing a braid study or I did a braid study. I have the speed art right here for it, which is going to be utterly incomprehensible to people, but that's fine. Anyway, I just wanted to say real quick, I got a random notification. Um, I didn't know YouTube gave you notifications for new subscribers, but I did, and I got one. And Russians by Nikolai, for whatever reason you're watching this, thank you. Genuinely. I appreciate it. Um... I apologize for the quality, and if, again, for whatever reason you're watching this, feel free to submit an art request. I have a few, I have the backlog of a few things, so I can't guarantee that it will be done immediately, but it'll get, it'll get done, probably, maybe. I'll let you know if I can. Yeah. Anyway, regardless, this is the quote-unquote long-awaited study for braids. And I, you know, did this a few days ago, I want to say, but, you know, yeah, like I can say. Anyway, so I'm just writing down this just to feel fancy, um, and I used multiple different sources for this. I used about three different sources. Um, I listed them there, and I'm going to just link them down below, either in the description or in the comments, because while I don't think I can put links in the description, for some reason, I can put them in the comments. Little wonky, but you know what? I'll take what I can get. Anyway. So I am... This is like my first attempt with the study for braids. How I typically do things is, on the honest, I don't usually read the foundation parts, which is probably explains why my art is at the quality it is. But I tend to look at the drawings itself. I try to mimic it, see and study how it works, really. So I learned from mimicking uh, this that if I curve the Ys, they tend to not be as um accurate. One will say. Also, I apologize for any sniffling. I Asthma and spring allergies are acting up. And if I yawn too much, I'm going to scream because... The, this is the second time I tried to record this. I tried to record it yesterday, and I was very tired and kept yawning. And there's my cat tearing up a scratch pad. You go, doppelganger. Carve yourself a little seat. I'm sorry, mate. Anyway, so, I'm just, I mean, they're braids. Annoying to draw, or annoying to learn how to draw, and... Goodness, they can get tedious at times, but I like the look of them, and I'm hoping to be able to use them more. Sadly, I haven't, other than the quick sketch I did, or quick drawing I do at the end of this video, I unfortunately have not drawn any more braids, and I really should. You, use it or lose it, you know? Anyway, so I'm just outlining these in, like, different colors, just because why not? Um, I mean, it's nothing too entertaining. This is, I'm just going to use this as an excuse to ramble, mostly. And you can hear the ASMR of my cat just tearing up a scratching post. <laughs> is he? Oh my god, he's sitting on it. That's so cute. He's loafing. If I fit, so I sit. I need to take a picture of this. Can I put this as my thumbnail? I'm, I'm put, if I can take a picture of this, I'm putting this as the thumbnail. Actual art be damned, I'm putting this as a thumbnail. I wonder if he'll look at me. Doppelganger! Oh, he did. He knows his name. Or my voice, at least. So, yeah. Now I have a thumbnail. Oh, let me actually sum that to myself. Okay. Well, regardless, I'm just going over. Again, I use a lineless art style, so I do have some leeway with how I do things. Um, and, you know, I'm just writing notes here. If you are able to decipher them, you get a cookie. <laughs> because my cursive and my handwriting is manageable at the very best. 
readable? No, <laughs> not even close. But yeah. So I'm, but I still need to, you know, do the shading to show, like, the braid lines. I, so, and especially with, um, stuff like that. And, you know, And that does not look like a braid, but it does look cool. Anyway, so I'm now working on the other braids from the second website. I wanted to get from multiple websites just so I knew different strategies. See, from that one I got use a Y or V shape, so you know, just figuring things out. And then the third one, I actually like that method better and how they taught me just because it makes sense to me, at least. Oh, let's see. Where is? Where am I put? Okay, there we go. I use the very wonderful method of sending myself video pictures and stuff. When I wanted to get from one thing to another thing, it's by Discord messages. Because I am simple. Anyway, again, I'm just outlining this. I think I got better with figuring out how to outline the braids, especially like the Y bra Y shaped braids. Um, and even in just that one, I feel like I made significant progress and like, significant improvement, you know? And that's something that I like doing. So again, why I like doing these different braid types, doing whenever I do an art study, I either take one source and do it really, really well and copy it to a T and apply it to my own things, or I take it from multiple sources to try and combobulate it into my style, what works for me, my understanding, and maybe it's not the most effective or efficient, but it works for me. So it's not like I'm doing this professionally anyway. If I was, I would probably be screwed. <laughs> Alright, and we are just finishing up that last part. Although I will say the second website and the first website have really similar ideas. The, the second website even uses the same like reference image, although I don't think they really credit her. I put her name down and then of course it, she's credited properly in the Adobe website, but I don't think it, the other website properly credited her, which is a little unfortunate, but you know, she was mentioned later in the passage, so I guess that counts as credit? No, no. I'm not an expert. <laughs> anyway, I got really close on the uh, blue braid, and I'm just restarting on the purple braid to really try and figure out how to line in those shadings. Because I think I get the shape pretty well or pretty close. I think that's the easiest part. The hardest part for me is finding the, like, the indentations or little quote-unquote shadows of it just to make it properly look like a true braid, you know? Right? And then just writing, again, writing down the websites, and I'm actually showing my brother what all I did there. And this is the method I actually really like, how they described it, although it's a little hard to wrap your head around. But it, I'm probably going to be using that concept. I'm probably going to be using this strategy of just doing the individual strands. I'm probably gonna find myself using that strategy a lot. And then I'll just hybridize it with the other two that I, that I worked with. I mean, that's just all art is. Taking things you like and then smashing and mashing it around to get your own style. And I like that. It's same with writing, I would say. Although writing is a, eh, writing and art, you take your own style and you mash it about until you get what you like. And I think that's beautiful about being creative. There are so many different ways to be creative. Anyway, you know, I'm just, again, I really try to, like, copy down what I see. I'll skim reading it, mostly, especially if it's shorter. But, again, typically, what works best for me is just copying it down and kind of just analyzing how it works. And I kind of figure it out in my own way. Again, not entirely accurate. and. Personally, I think it'd be I'd recommend just reading it out yourself to get that concepts. But again, I'm not doing this professionally. Yes, I technically have commissions open because I have a commissions sheet back when I was a little more worried about commissions, and I'm not gonna say no. But you know, I'm 
not trying to push it as hard. The only reason I'm really big on getting art requests is because it's nice to hear that people want to do my want to see my art style and see me draw things, and also because it helps get me ideas, you know. Anyway, I do tend to lose focus a bit on how to like finish it up. I'm just outlining the zigzag line. So yeah, stuff like that. It, it can get. I lost a bit of focus on. The second one, because I was just so f eh, fucking tired of braids at that point. But, you know. It is what it is. You do what you do, you know? I rushed a it through it a bit. Probably could have done me some good to, like, take a break. But honestly, I think I did that all in one sitting, actually. And I was just kind of in the zone, so I didn't want to stop. Which, I mean, I'm sure everyone can relate to that. Anyway, sketch good, and then I accidentally delete the sketch good part, or the good part, when undoing things later on. I really was trying to figure out the positioning, because um, the website, as you will see, shows how to do a braid from the side and a braid from, you know, the front. And, and I was really struggling on getting that placement good for the side braid. Oh well. Perspective is funny and sucks, but we try our best. And as you can tell, I am trying my damnedest to really get this down. I'll probably need to draw them a dozen times over, so I should probably do that for part two of my uh, art study of braids. And once I get down a concept of art, I like to think I'm pretty good at mostly remembering it. Like, I have some pretty... I have the concepts down. For wings, I can do a pretty solid wing. I can still do a pretty solid wing, despite not frequently drawing them. Although it's been a while since I've, you know, done one in my style. Since, again, the way I developed my lineless style was pretty recent, actually. Um, so, you know, don't have much practice of, like, drawing wings in my style. Uh, back when I did lined art, it typically, wings were a lot easier, but, you know. Fun challenges all around. Who can complain, you know? It's always fun to have a cute little challenge. But yeah, you know. Ain't nothing but nothing. I'm probably not giving the most strongest commentary, but... I mean... There's a lot I want to say, but my brain kind of blocks up. And I have a few things I want to say yes, but that doesn't mean I have I want to say them in this video. I have other videos where I want to talk about different things like neurodivergency and how it can be super hidden and stuff like that. I don't know, the like OCs and all that. Alright, and then, oh, did I use another? Huh. Oh yeah, did I use four websites? I used four, not three. I mean, the fourth one again, I was just so done with braids. Although I completely forgot about this use. Yeah, 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 I forgot about that method. It's an interesting method, I'm not complaining about it. Actually, like, I think I actually like that method the most. I just was so tired and done with braids that I kind of forgot. I like the way it outlines, basically, although... Although the lining part leaves a much to be desired, but oh well. You, again, you get what you can get, and figuring out how to do things in your own style is... One of the hardest parts of everything, and I don't mind that. It's always a nice little fun challenge, just finagling around with things. And of course, after this, I do draw someone with braids. I end up going with a style, a style of braids that was just twin braids, which really darned myself there. Like, really damned myself there. Um, so now I'm just, you know, I'm drawing a person. I was originally going to do multiple people, but I decided, no, I'm sick of it. I'm doing one person. So, I'm just drawing him with twin braids, and I didn't, and they're very small braids, and they're not good at all. I don't, did I even line the braids? I completely forgot. I had, I, I literally drew it, and I forgot if I lined the braids, so we'll find out. Uh, you'll see that I used to employ two different methods, um, and I, it's just a challenge. Again, I was just so done with this that I was kind of rushing to get it done. You know, it was, it's always nice to draw people, especially just free-balling it, really. I always enjoy doing that. 
then you know other eye listen i was already i apparently wasn't gonna skimp out on anything even drawing the other eye which i really should have honestly but i mean the eye shape i chose wasn't too hard although i tend to draw difficult eye shapes for no darn reason so I'm like, oh, this one eye on the left looks so fancy and cute and wonderful, and then I realize I have to draw the other eye. Ash, I relatable, I guess. I sound so tired. But yeah, I'm using the third websites method, and then I'm using, I want to say, a bastardization of the first and second website websites method, mainly the first. And I found, if I recall correctly, I found that the la that the Y method ended up looking a bit stiffer than I wanted, so I ended up going back and using the third websites method, even if it looked not so good. I figured as long as I get the shape right, I can just bullshit the lines, right? So that's what I'm doing, getting the shape right and bullshitting the line the lines. And I'm trying to be as thorough in the sketch as possible because I find if I'm not thorough with the sketch. The line art, or the quote-unquote line art, the color doesn't look that good. On the bride? Yeah. So I'm just finishing that up, and honestly, I think I used like maybe three colors, two colors? Not two colors. Three to four colors. And then you see, look, one of um, my skin tone reference sheets that I use a lot. I think I chose a different skin tone after that, and I? I tried, yeah, you know, I tried using a blending tool. I think it was too warm toned for what I was going for. Yeah. There we go. I, I think that was a... Was that too cool toned or warm toned? Goodness. The other one was too cool toned. Sorry, apparently I don't know my own tones. Anyway, just coloring them in. And... I mean, you can tell how exhausted I am by the fact I'm just doing the blocking method as I, the coloring in method as I go, which again, is not something I prefer to do. I prefer to, oh, hey, doppelganger, you joined me? Yeah. Anyway. Um, sorry, cat's in front of me. I can't see what's going on. But uh, typically what I prefer to do is, if you can hear me over cat, is I line out the colors Kind of blocking them out during the morning. You know, it helps with shading and such. No! No! Okay, off. Off, baby boy. You stopped it. I, I need to finish it. Listen, if I... Quit trying to eat that. Listen. If I had to draw it, then everyone else has to sit through it, okay? Anyway. Again, I don't prefer the color as I go method because it can be harder to... Shade, thing in, shade things in. It's just not as thorough, honestly. But uh, I was tired. I was done with it. And my cat is laying right behind the screen. So, you know. He's invested. What are you doing? Okay. But yeah, I actually, fun fact, I have started using a gray tone, like a very light gray instead of pure white for the whites of the eyes, mainly because Pigeon Doll uses that method and I, and he also does lineless whenever he does, whenever he draws he does do lineless art and that made me, that makes me feel validated. It's like there's more of us. So if I can emulate it, if he can do it, I'm sure I could at least mostly emulate it. Again, Art cells are just a hodgepodge of what you like, and that is mine to a T. It was, it's actually funny, whenever I sketch things out in my sketchbook, obviously I can't do them blindless because, well, um, I don't color them in. I just sketch them out in pencil or pen. I had one of my, my therapists look through it and it's like, oh, you have an anime art style. And I nearly laughed, but my brother has an anime art style. And I got a lot of how I do bodies and proportions from him. So there's definitely second generation anime influence, I would suppose. Although I would say closer to like, maybe Steven Universe. Although, you know. Oh, did I keep the lines in? I guess I did. Did I? I oh, don't know. I don't remember anything. I got tired at the end of it. I think that's secretly why I didn't draw braid. I haven't drawn braids. And then I just gave up on trying to show um, where the arms are in this because laziness. 
Anyway, that's the end of the video. My cat is demanding attention, so I'm probably going to smother him with attention before I record a second video. But yeah, thank you so much if you managed to make it to the end of this, even with my completely asinine bored ramblings, as you can tell it is 21, oh, 21, but you know, I've stayed up later, I've recorded things later. In our case way, I hope you have a lovely day or night, and I hope you enjoyed listening to me ramble for goodness gracious, how long is it, how long is this video, 18 minutes, 15? For however long I've been rambling for. And I hope... Oh, sorry, I got distracted from what I was saying. I nearly poked my cat in the eye. Anyway, Doppel and I wish you a very lovely evening, day or night. Day, afternoon, whatever. Stay safe.